What is up my loot finders, my gamblers, I have a special video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be talking about the slot machines in Borderlands 2. I'm going to teach you guys how to not lose all your money, how to get great stuff from the slot machines, and much, much more right after the break, so please stay tuned. Alright, thanks for sticking around. So as promised, today I'm going to be talking about these slot machines in Borderlands 2. You guys might have tried to gamble a few bucks, but you probably don't know all the information there is to know about the slot machines. So, I'm here to fix that. I'm going to tell you everything I know, everything I've learned about the slot machines, how to strike it rich, and how to not lose all of your hard-earned cash. So first, let's start out with where can you find the slot machines. Now you guys probably know already if you're deep into the game, inside of Sanctuary, inside of Maxi's Bar, there are two slot machines. You can also find them in a few other places. You can find one in Dust, the location Dust, inside of Shack. There is also one in Holy Spirits, inside of the bar. And there is also one that is carried by the One-Armed Bandit. The One-Armed Bandit is a unique enemy, it's very rare. I've only found this bandit one time, that is right outside of Tiny Tina's workshop. There should be some footage on the screen of what he looks like. Basically he'll have a slot machine on his back, and then when he dies you can hit it. Unfortunately you still have to pay the cash, but it's kind of cool nonetheless. So now you know where the slot machines are. So you guys all want to know how to play, how to strike it rich. Now first, how much does it cost to play? The cost of playing varies on what your level is. The higher your level, the more expensive it is. So what does this mean? It really doesn't mean a whole lot. Because as you get higher leveled, you're going to be making more money, so it kind of counterbalances it. However, the prizes you receive are proportioned to your level. So if you're a low level character, it might not cost you much to pay the slot machine, but the gun you get is going to be a low level gun which means it's going to not be very good very quickly because as you level up in the early game you level up very fast so your gun's going to go obsolete much faster however when you're a higher level character the guns go obsolete much slower because it takes you much longer to surpass every level so now you know where the slot machines are and you know when to hit them so now we get on to the meat and potatoes of this video what do you win how do you win is it worth it now there are a few ways to win. The first combination that you'll probably get a lot is three cherries. Cherry, cherry, cherry. This is going to get you a green random gun. Now something you should note, sometimes the gun will be worth more than what you put in for it. So say the slot machine costs 200 to play and the gun is worth 250. It's going to be around that price. So you're either going to lose a little bit of money or you're going to make a little bit of money. Next up is we have three sevens. Three sevens is going to get you a character class mod. So what that could mean is a new skin, a new head, something like that. Then we have three of the legs. Three of the legs are going to get you a blue gun. So with this blue gun, it's going to be almost positively worth more than you paid, maybe even double what you paid. So if you're getting legs, which is a blue gun, you're going to be making a lot of money, and you might be getting some good loot. So now we're going to start moving into the big prizes. Now these prizes are very rare, I've only gotten a handful of them myself. So next we have the three Marcus heads. If you get three Marcus heads, you're going to get a purple gun. Now these purple guns are worth usually not that much, however they're usually great guns that you're going to want to use on the battlefield. And then finally, the best of the best is the Borderlands symbol. If we get three Borderlands symbols, we are going to be getting an orange gun. Yes, you heard me right, an orange gun, which is the rarest of the rare at this time. And overall, that's just the gun that you want to be getting. So, of course, there's also some other prizes you can win, like white guns, cash. But I'm not really going to get into that. Basically, if you're that's all you're hitting, you're not going to be making any money at all. You're going to be losing money. You're going to be losing money fast. So, bottom line, here's the verdict in the slot machines. Slot machines are a losing venture. Bottom line is you are going to lose money. It's however what you can win before you lose money. And what you value good loot as. If you value a purple gun very highly because you need a brand new sniper rifle, then this is definitely the way to go if you can't find that loot chest in the field. 
This is also a great way to burn off that excess cash. If you don't find the gun you're looking for in the store, you might be able to find it with this slot machine. So that about sums it up guys. Very quickly just to summarize everything. Our slot machines are located in Maxi's Bar. There is one at Dust, there is one in Holy Spirits, and there is also one carried by the one-armed bandit. The only one-armed bandit I have seen so far is right outside of Tiny Tina's workshop. We also want to note that the best of the best is those three Borderland symbols. You're going to get those orange guns. That's exactly what you want. That is the best of the best. You can also be winning Iridium from these slot machines, so that's always good if you need some Iridium. This is where I highly recommend you go. And then to top it all off, you should remember that these are slot machines. It's a gamble. More than likely, you're going to lose money, but hey, it's fun. You can get some good loot. So, thanks guys for watching. My name is Iceberg of Icebergs Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a rating down below. If you have any questions for me, any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to respond to those ASAP. And just have a good night, guys.